صحيح So before I start this video, I just wanted to let you know that this laptop that I'm about to talk to you about is all about business. There's nothing gaming about it and it probably won't run many games anyway except your flash games which I'm really not going to go into because whoever is looking at this video to play games isn't wanting to play Facebook flash games. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the Dell Latitude 7280 which is this Ultrabook right here. Now Ultrabook came from branding a few years ago. I mean, I prefer to use laptops, but because it has, does have a 12 inch screen on there, it does mean that it's pretty portable, which was really the message behind the Ultrabook brand. So one of the benefits about this laptop is its size. Now it's a 12 inch screen, which measures from corner to corner, which means that it could probably fit in your bag quite nicely and you could really carry it around without any worry at all. And thanks to the 12 hour battery life that they promise in here, you've got a pretty good laptop that's gonna last you throughout the day anyway. So taking a look at the actual laptop itself, on top it's covered in this soft touch paint, which does feel very premium. There are other laptop manufacturers on the market like XMG, for example, that do this, but Dell have really brought the soft touch and they've had soft touch uh, lids on them for quite a while now. But the actual chassis itself is made out of magnesium alloy, giving it some um, durable protection from slight bangs and knocks when you're carrying it around in a bag. I wouldn't knock it off of the table, it probably won't survive the fall. If you are carrying it around, you've got kind of peace of mind that this laptop isn't really going to get damaged too easily. So down the right hand side from back to front, you've got a Kensington lock, you've got your Ethernet port for wired networking, you've got a, what is that, a USB port on there, you've got a micro SD card reader and the most impressive thing I think on this side is the mobile SIM card tray. Now what that enables you to do is use mobile networks, get a data plan from one of the networks in your country and then you can use mobile internet on the go. There's also a headphone port here as well. You have from back to front got your charging port, you have a Thunderbolt port on there as well. You've got your HDMI to connect it to external screens and another USB port there. So if we actually open up the laptop itself, the actual hinge on the laptop feels very sturdy. Now generally with most laptops that we see here, you've got the hinges down sort of the left and the right hand side. This hinge goes all the way across, so it makes the screen feel very tough and very durable and it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap through overuse of lifting the screen up and down, which is a quite a nice feature if you ask me. The actual keys themselves light up, so you can see the backlit keys there, which is a very nice touch. So if you're like myself that doesn't have the best eyesight, then the backlight back so if you're like myself that doesn't have the best eyesight, then the backlit keys are really gonna make a difference. The actual trackpad itself is quite small compared to other laptops, but it's sensitive enough to send the mouse from right to left on the screen. And then you've got your two standard clicks here as well, left and right click. So if we take a look at the screen now, you've got your full 1920 by 1080, so it's a full HD resolution. Now, because it's within a 12 inch display, everything's quite condensed, so it does look very sharp. Now the only problem with that, or with the screen, is the fact that colour reproduction is very dull. I would have liked to have seen, I mean if you take a look at the animal feathers in this video compared to the green in the background, I would have liked to have seen much better colour reproduction looking at research online. We haven't tested this ourselves, but looking around at research, you get a 70% or around 70% sRGB colour reproduction, which isn't very high. As I said, this isn't built for gaming, this isn't really built for media consumption, although it can handle it quite well through your standard streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube as we're watching here. But just be warned, there are better laptops out there that will give you a much better color reproduction. So the review unit that we were sent does house an Intel i7-7600 new processor, which is a brand new processor. It does also have eight gigabytes of RAM inside, which can be upgraded to 16 gig at purchase through Dell's website as you have the chance to customize the parts that go inside. It does have a 256 gig SSD drive in there as well, as opposed to a regular hard drive giving the laptop some very, very nice loading speeds and also multitasking speeds as well, it can't store much. So if you're storing things like media, photos, videos, and music on there, 
you're probably going to find yourself running out of space very quickly and then therefore you're probably going to have to opt for some kind of external portable hard drive. Now there's no dedicated graphics card in here, instead they've opted for an Intel 620 integrated graphics chip onto the processor. So, you're not going to be able to play the latest game titles. You probably, at a push, get away with some of the lower graphic demanding MOBAs like League of Legends, but really you're stuck with Flash games if you're wanting to play any type of games at all. Now I know saying that is a bit of a downer, but for people like content creators that are going to be using video editing software, photo editing software, that kind of thing, the laptop actually works quite well. Now we edited this particular video on the Dell Latitude laptop and apart from the rendering times that we faced it didn't it didn't really make much difference between me editing on this or my editing desktop PC that I've got here as well. So there was not really any any difference in in terms of processor power or the or the speeds that this laptop was producing. It did it work quite well as I say rendering and exporting did take a bit of a long time but that's to be expected. The biggest downfall I would say with this laptop that could put some people off is the price. The price for this particular model, as I said with the i7 7600U, the 8GB of RAM and the 256GB uh, SSD drive, you're looking at around £1400. I think it's just slightly under that at the moment on Dell's website. It's a very expensive bit of kit, but it is a very premium bit of kit as well. So you've got to really weigh up the pros and cons. Are you a gamer? Are you going to be wanting the latest graphics, mobile graphics card inside a, a laptop to be able to play games on the go? Or are you just really after for something absolutely solid that could do multitasking, work-based multitasking very well? So you've really got to tie up the pros and cons on that. From what I've seen, it's a great little laptop for anyone traveling for business or even students that are wanting to carry a laptop between a library and home or a lecture hall to take notes on. It's not a bad little product at all for something like that, but gaming, no chance. So thank you very much for checking out our sort of quick overview slash review of the Dell Latitude 7280 laptop. If you did enjoy it then do click that like button, it helps us out a lot. Please do subscribe to keep up with any tech reviews that we launch as well as our gaming videos and live streams that happen twice a week now. Let us know in the comments as well what you thought about this laptop and whether you think there's still a market for the kind of ultra book branded laptops, the 12 inch displays, the 13 inch displays, that kind of thing. I know Apple do it quite well and they have been market leaders for a very long time, but they have a much different offering to what Dell is offering right here. This is a work-based machine only, whereas Apple, could you could really argue the fact that that's more aimed at content creators. But do let us know what you think of this laptop, whether you would invest in one or whether you would look at really going for the more gaming oriented laptops from people like Razer, Gigabyte, MSI, those kind of brands. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.